Hi everybody, welcome to our new tutorial videos. In this clip I will show you how to install Evoluted Tools for Rhino and I will explain the basic functionality behind the plugin. Uh, installing is easy, you just open up the download location and drag and drop the plugin into the Rhino window. We have to load the toolbars. and just drag it into your favorite location. I'll have to remind you that you have to install the plugin on a local drive. Otherwise, if you want to access the help file, uh, Windows will not let you access the CHM file, which is a security feature of Windows. And you can read about the workaround on our forum. Our plugin is structured in three modules. There is a base module, there is a vertex fitting module, and a planarization module. And the last two, the vertex fitting and planarization modules, are just add-ons to the base module. So they cannot work independently without the base module. Let's have a look at the toolbars. Since we wanted you guys to be able to test all the functionality in the trial version, we have all the buttons right here. But keep in mind that if you bought uh, some of the modules separately, for example, just the base module and the vertex VD module, you will have some buttons missing. For example, this button, which is a preset for planarity optimization. And if you bought the base module and the planarization module, you will have some uh, other buttons missing. For example, this, which is related to vertex fitting. Okay, so the first three buttons are optimization buttons. These two are just presets, one for planarity and one for fairness. This is the set reference button. This tells the plugin which is the input surface. These are vertex fitting related buttons. These buttons here control the parameter importance and the optimization settings. These are the subdivision tools. These are the analyze buttons. These are some selection related buttons and these are mesh editing tools. Evoluted tools for Rhino workflow involves taking an input surface and this can be a NURBS surface or a poly surface. It can even be a mesh and it can be designed in Rhino or some other modeling software. And we will call this a reference surface. The next step is to build up a coarse mesh that roughly resembles the shape of the input surface. And by using the subdivision tools, we will subdivide this coarse mesh to get the desired density and connectivity. The optimization process will simply force this subdivided mesh to take the shape of the input surface. This is basically it. Next, we will load the ET cube to have a look at it. This is something we created to have some wacky surfaces to play on and to test the plugin onto. This will be a common reference for a lot of the tutorials, so you will be able to recreate the results in the tutorials with the trial version. Um, this will be also the subject of some competitions, so just download it from our website and get familiar with it. Thanks for watching the introduction video. Make sure you watch the next ones because there's a lot more exciting stuff there.